And I think if we get our show key up to a point, we're confident of that. Why, the results will take care of themselves. All right, now in the kickoff, if we receive, the three men drop back on the receiver and block long. I don't know the name style. And if we kick off, with the rest of these teams walk, let's run down fast. This is fast as you can run. And then we go on defense. And on defense, I want the center in and out of that line according to the situation. You with your old head, and I want you guys charging through it. On every play, they expect to play right over you every time. And the tackles, they want you to go in a yard and a half and then check yourself. Spread your feet, squat down and all, and be ready with your hands and elbows. They won't be side -swipe. But I want the ends in there fast every play, every play, but under control. And you men in the back feel there, I want you to analyze before you move. And they throw a forward pass, they throw a pass, wait till you see the ball in the air, and then go and get it. And when they get it, boys, that's when they go on offense. That's when they go to them. And don't forget we're going to pick on one, right, one tackle they've got this week. We're going inside them. We're going outside them. Inside them and outside them. And when we get them on the run once, we're going to keep them on the run. And we're not going to pass unless our secondary comes up too close. But don't forget, man, we're going to get them on the run. We're going to go, 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 go. And we aren't going to stop until we go to our goal line. And don't forget, man, today is the day we're going to win. They can't lick it. And from the flesh out of the goal, the first was running man win there. Fight, 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 fight. What do you say, man? Okay. <laughs> 5, 14, 38, hit, 1, 2, hit, 3, hit, 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 hit. No, 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 Miller. Come here. The reason that play didn't work is because it didn't take the end out. It went after the wrong man. What's the matter? You been dancing all summer or something? Layden, yeah. keep your eyes open, your head up, and your feet spread to give you lots of leg drive. Crowley, we didn't give you much support that time. We will this time. Still rare. Put the boys through that play again, see if they can get it right this time. Okay. Come on, everybody. Oh, right. 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 25, 14, 58, hip, one, two, hip, hip, come on. That's the way to do it, that's the way to do it. It was better that time, wasn't it, O'Brien? I'll say he was. All right, bring it out. Walt, come here. Yes, sir. Adam, put the boys through 53 and 54. You're going to use it Saturday. Right. There's a couple of newspaper men out here who want to see me. Someone must have told them they got a football team. <laughs> <laughs> the old man's feeling pretty good today, boys. Is that water? Yes, you want this one? Zero, 21, 34, and 77. Hike! Hike. Hey, where do you think you're going? Don't you know you'll get hurt? I want to see the cold. Well, I'm the coach. Well, I'm going to see the head coach. Well, you can't see him. He's busy now. Now, run along off the field, all of you. Oh, it's the coach. Well, 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 young man. What can I do for you? You look too small to be a linesman. <laughs> Would you sign your name on this? Sure thing, sure hey, that thing. That fellow from the Times is out there. Never mind the fellow from the Times. Have you got a pen? Yeah, you bet. Well, is the other fellow with him? Yeah, the two fellows out there. All right, I'll be out there in a minute. Suppose I could get the four horsemen to sign it? I guess so. They can write. They're seniors now. <laughs> oh, still there? Yes, sir. Yes. Crowley? Yep. Miller? Layden? Yes, sir. Still there? This young fellow wants your names on the ball. Be glad to. Come on, Charlie. You'll get your pen back if you're lucky. Just <laughs> <laughs> left that old arm in there now. Yeah, I get the writer's pen. Do you play football, son? No, I ain't got time, but I know all about it. Oh, another smart alumni coach, eh? What a smart fellow you must be. You're Crowley, ain't you? You see, Don, he knows me. Fame, my boy. Fame. <laughs> I know him, too. That's Don Miller. He makes holes for you to run for. <laughs> smart kid. He's on to you, Jim. Great lad. Know me too, do you? Sure, you're the fullback. Skinny lady. You're pretty good too. <laughs> Thanks. There you are. Remember, my boy, when you get out into the battle of life? Why, it's just like football. It isn't the beef and the muscle that counts, but it's teamwork and the head work. Especially head work. Crowley, you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, especially head work. What are you going to do with that ball, Sonny? Hang it up in your room? No, there's a guy in South Bend who's going to give me ten bucks for it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> we must be in the wrong racket. Yeah, let's get back, back to work. Go to work. 
Galia et omnas divisa in paris praet. Galia et omnas divisa stay out. Galia est omnes de Wiesa in Paris. Is there a rule against doing a little studying in this school? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Father. Certainly, my boy. Come on in, young man. This is Edward O'Brien, your new roommate. Jim Stewart. <laughs> How are you? Glad to meet you. O'Brien came all the way from North Dakota. He was unavoidably detained, so he's a few days late. I hitchhiked all the way. More hiking than hitching, though. Oh, I, I see. Well, Stuart will help you catch up with your class, and I'll give you all the assistance that I can. Oh, thanks, Father. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Father. I'm sorry. Huh? I guess you'll have to take this upper. It's sort of first come, first served here, and I happen to draw the lower. Oh, sure, sure. Excuse me. That's all right. Here's your lid. Huh? Oh, thanks. Pardon me, but what are the goalposts for? Goalposts? Oh, that's my high school letter. Hmm. Track man? No, no. Football. And you? Football man? No, I, I'm track. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to say it. All right. A... No kid, though. Somehow I can't get any kick out of chasing a bunch of guys around a circle. <laughs> I always try to keep them chasing me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But take it from me, football's the only game. Where'd you play? Hockerville. Where? Hockerville High. We were champions. State champions? No. No, county. We would have been state champions, though, if the rest of the guys had pitched in to go over and play the other team. At least that's what our coach said. Well, you must have had a good coach. Oh, the best in the state. Hi. Whoa. Hi, Lee. Hello. Hi, Lee. Hello. Hi, Lee. Hello. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Who is this, Daniel Boone? Meet our new bunkie, O'Brien. O'Brien, meet Mr. William Appleton Shellington Pelt, W-A-S-P, otherwise known as the Wasp. Hi. Delighted. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. And this big lug with the open face and the closed mind is Truck McCall. Glad to know you. You two guys ought to get along great. Truck's out for football, too. Football? Sure. Is he in football? He was just telling me all about it. Hey, what size you wear? Fifteen and a half. Oh, too small. Hold your breath, you guys, and learn something. He's from Dakota. He was telling me all about their coach. What system did you use? System? Well, I guess we kind of had our own system. Sort of a pivot. You see, the coach built all the plays around one man. Oh. You mean around you? Well, it sounds kind of conceited to say and everything, but... Well, they did call me the Hawkerville Flash. You fellas like some cake? My mother baked it. Of course, it looks kind of squashed because I slept out several nights and used my bag for a pillow, but it's, it's good cake. Ma's the best cook in the county. Oh, a family of champions. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, what position did you play, O'Brien? Left half, usually, all, although the coach has fooled him and played me at quarterback, and then sometimes I play in. You must be, you must be pretty good. Oh, I guess it just comes kind of natural. At least that's what our coach said. How did you ever happen to come to Notre Dame? Well, I, I could have gone to a lot of places, but the coach said to me, uh, Bucky, you see, he always calls me Bucky on account of I hit the line so hard. Bucky, he says, don't you pay no attention to them second-rate places. He says, you go to Notre Dame where they know real football playing. Of course, you can't play while you're a freshman, but then you can afford to waste a year and hang around and find out what it's all about. That's what our coach said. 
Oh. Here's a picture of the team. Hey, hey. Who's the big, tall, skinny guy? The one with the straight legs. Oh, he's just one of the subs. Oh, I see you have to be bow-legged to play on that tin. <laughs> that's you on the end. Yeah, that's me. Well, who's the fellow with his arm around you? Oh, that's our coach. He certainly seems fond of you. Sure, he's my brother. Oh! Hooray! Supper! Let's go! I'm hungry! Oh, you're always hungry. I'm hungry, too. Wait a minute, you better change that sweater. They don't like prep school letters here. Oh, they don't? No. Uh, Hockerville, come here. Take a look. Observe yon Crystal Lake. Yeah? Well, five freshmen were thrown in there last week for just hinting that they had prep school letters. <laughs> oh, I see. Here, they sing, it isn't what you were, it's what you are today. Oh. Well, I understand all right, but I guess you fellas better go on without me. See, it'll take me a little time to rip this letter off. It's the only sweater I got. Well, I got a lot of them now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here. Here, wear one of mine. Oh, thanks, Stuart. Jim to my pals, Bucky. Thanks. Say, I really ought to let the head coach know I'm here. Well, I'll take you over to practice tomorrow. Hey, don't you thanks. think we should relieve the coach's anxiety tonight? No, tomorrow will be soon enough. Yeah, but we'll have to let the poor man suffer one more night. Oh, you, you got to hit it hard in that freshman. Put more leg drive into it. Come on, snap into it. Mike. Come on, yeah, Mike. Well, you ready for us? I don't know what it's safe for my varsity to scrimmage with your boys. Pretty husky lot here. Yes, it's a good average lot of freshmen. Well, pick your team and let's get at it. Well, men, we're going to scrimmage with the varsity this afternoon. Yeah. How's that sound? Oh, 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 oh. Let's see how we line this thing up. Right end, uh, O'Brien. Oh, I don't you remember, Coach? I'm a halfback, not a not an end. Yeah, but Johnny O'Brien here is. Oh, right yes. tackle, McManaman. Right guard, Lasky. Center, Law. Left guard, Massey. Left tackle, McCall. Me? Is your name McCall? Ernest. Well, get along, Ernest. Let's see what you can do. Thank you. Left end, Johnson. Fullback, Mullins. Right half, O'Connor. Quarterback, Caridio. Pardon me, coach, but not Caridio, Caridale. All right, Caridio. Left half. Let's see, uh, did you say that you could... Yes, sir. Whoever told you you were a halfback? Well, my brother, you see, he's the coach. Your brother? Well, he's really only my half-brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, run along, kid. Out on the field, let's see what you can do. Thanks. Now, the rest of you fellows look sharp. Keep your eyes open. Come along with me and remember, you'll all get a chance before the day's over. Hey, Jim, now watch the four horsemen make that famous shift. Signal. 25, 14, 78, hip. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Let's have it. Let's have it. I don't see anything to that. They, they just kind of hop around. What do you mean? You don't know much about football, do you? No, I just came out to see how Bucky got along. I suppose you know all about football. Who, me? <laughs> say, I have a great instinct for football, boy. If it wasn't for my size, why, I'd be just as good as George Gip. George Gip. <laughs> <laughs> Next Saturday, Notre Dame plays Northwestern. You've been drilled in Northwestern plays so you can give the varsity good practice against the Northwestern system. I want you to get out there and give the boys a good workout. Go on now. Okay, let's go. All right, All right gang, go on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. All right, who's got them over there? Who's got them? All right, turn them in over there. Let's go. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Hill stop, Hill stop there. One, two, three. O'Brien, what's the matter with you? Come here. Yes, you, come here. You know why that fellow was nailed back of the line? 
I guess he couldn't, he couldn't keep up with the rest of us. No, it's because you failed to protect the ball carrier. You didn't take out that end. Now go back and try it over again. McCall, yes. stay down on that line. Don't keep bobbing up. They'll walk yes. right through you. Now do as I tell you. Yes. Get in there. All right, let's go to town and there. Let's talk to you gentlemen on the rear. Yep. Yep. Let them have it. One, one gang, two, easy, sir. three. Get around there, quick. Hey, did you see Druck? I thought he was saying his prayers. <laughs> All right, kid, you can get up now. It's all over with. Why don't you try falling forward instead of backward for a change, huh? I would, but he always gets in my way. Well, try and get him out of your way. See if you can't get him out this time. Yes, sir. And Crudio, listen. Yes, sir. You'll have to call those signals in a sharp staccato tone if you ever expect to play quarter on a Notre Dame team. Yes, sir. I don't see why they've got that guy Crudio playing anyway. The guy hasn't got the looks of a football player. And take it from me, he'll never amount to anything. Now I know. Shut up. I'm shot. Think you're playing tag? You don't block hard enough to knock over a glass of water. All right, first one. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Hip. One, two, three. Go that man. Head up, tail down, and drive. You can't run interference with ruffles on your pants. <coughs> well, of course, you, you know, Coach, I'm not used to running interference. I'm a ball carrier. You're what? I'm used to running with the ball. Oh, you are? Yes, of course, this isn't a game. I understand that, you know. But in a, a real game, it's, it's bad practice to let your ball carrier waste his strength running interference. He's supposed to be safe for running with the ball. Oh. You'll graduate in about four years, won't you? Yes, sir. That'll be fine. By that time, I'll be ready to retire, and then you can take over my job, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, the old man's going great today. He certainly is. Pretty fresh kid. Shall I jerk him out? Certainly not. Give him the ball. Light up. Freshman's ball. Shall we knock his ears down a little? <laughs> if you think you're able. Oh. <laughs> you carry the apple this time, kid. Well, just tell him to slip it to me fast. There you go. Keep one, two, three. Right, I get it. Why, isn't that the Hockerville fight? Yeah, that's the high school tear. Well, well, well. <laughs> 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 hey, all right, okay, George, got it in there. Say, just keep right on giving me that ball, will you? Signals! Takes it, he likes it. <laughs> All right, signal. Hip, one, two, three. All right, kid. I made three yards on you that time. You're slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Oh, yeah. You're a ball carrier, all right. That's what I told you, Coach. Trouble with you is you don't carry it far enough. You better hit the showers. Line up! <laughs> Gosh, that's good. <laughs> that was some workout they gave you. Did they hurt you much? I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, anyway, they didn't make you say uncle. I can't understand it. You know, back home, I was always good for at least one 50-yard run to a touchdown during the game. Well, what happened today? Couldn't get to the 50-yard line. <laughs> I certainly enjoyed watching you. I got a great kick out of it. Must have been one I missed. 
You know, Bucky, I, I've got a notion to go out for the team. No. Yeah. Do you mean it? Sure. I'll most likely be a little dumb at first. Oh, well, naturally. But... Well, I'll teach you all I know. Of course, that won't take very long, but I'll teach you. Then I'm out for the team. Oh. Boy, that's great. We'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> 530, all hatches in. That's me. I'll see you later at dinner. So long, Bucky. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Well, I'll fill it up for you. Hey, I didn't know they gave you How are you feeling? If you want to know the truth, I'm sore all over. <laughs> Sit down here and let me try that trade for you. Oh, nothing doing. That was a pretty heavy load you were carrying. Talk about heavy. After I've been carrying the four horsemen on my back all afternoon. <laughs> what do you think the freshmen are out for the team today, boys? It doesn't look so good to me. You know, these freshmen are funny animals. You can never tell anything about them until they get their full growth. <laughs> That O'Brien kid looked pretty good to me. You reminded me of you, Crowley, when we first started. What do you mean? You were just as bad. <laughs> oh. Hey, fellas. There he is now. Hey, Flash. Come here. How'd you bear up under that little workout we gave you today? Workout you gave me? Well, we all got a little exercise, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's the old spirit. You're OK, O'Brien. Keep at it. Hang on to that never-say-die spirit. You'll make the grade. Do you mean it? Sure he means it. We wouldn't kid a fellow like you. We've got a tough system here. But you just keep your nose to the grindstone, and by the time you're a junior, why, you'll be a regular football player. Boy, that's great. Will you be out to practice tomorrow? They have to carry me, after what you fellas just said. <laughs> you know, I kind of envy that kid. These freshmen make me feel like an old man. It's all ahead of him. It sure is. All the fun and the heartaches that go to make up life here. You know, fellas, well, we're just about through. Gee, sometimes I wish we were just starting. You know, instead of passing on. <laughs> Here's your program, Peggy, dear. Gee, I think you look beautiful tonight. You think? No, 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 I'm sure. I'm positive. Say, uh, let little Waspy take a look at the program and see that it's properly filled. But my program is filled. Filled? It's overloaded. I, uh, see that you know Jim and Bucky. So it seems. Mm -hmm. Nice boys. Oh, I think they're wonderful. Yeah. Now listen, Peggy. I brought you to this prom. And it cost me eight bucks. And I want to dance. Don't, Sammy. I'm not warm. Well, I am. Now, listen. I've got two good feet, and I want to dance. Listen, Waspy, I have on new slippers tonight. Well, didn't I tell you to wear the old ones? Didn't I tell you to wear the yes. old ones? You're doggone right. I told you to wear the old ones. And just for that, I hope you have to walk home in the new ones. Nice party. Uh-huh. Too bad I have to be back by 10 o'clock. That's awfully early. English thesis to type 4, 8 in the morning. On a night like this, you're going to worry about an English thesis? I'm not worrying about it. Father Clary. Oh, hello, Chuck. Hello. Oh, it's Bucky O'Brien. Come on, you said you'd introduce me to him. Come on, now. You said you'd introduce me to the football. 
football team. Come well, on. Well, I'm on the football team. Oh, yeah? When? I've seen every game for the last two years. I've never seen you play yet. Well, you will, because I'm a substitute, and there's only three other men ahead of me out for the same position, and one's got a bad leg. Oh, I see. I guess if you stayed in school till you were 50, you might get a chance to get in the game. Oh, come on, you big sissy. Now, come on. Well, one more dance with Peggy and then home for the thesis. Hey, fellas. Are you doing anything? No. Well, I want to give you the opportunity of meeting Miss Trixie Hayes. Miss Hayes, Mr. Stewart, and Mr. O'Brien. Oh, Mr. O'Brien, I'm so thrilled to meet you. I think you're the most wonderful football player in the whole world. I saw you play against Purdue last fall, and I thought it was just gorgeous the way you ran up and down the field with the football. You know, I couldn't do it. Didn't you think, Hunter, when you ran like that? Anyway, you couldn't expect me to run away from a lot of nice boys like that, could you, sir? And even if I did run, I'd probably fall down with these high heels on. I bet you couldn't run high heels either, could you, Mr. O'Brien? Or you, Mr. Stewart, for that matter. You know, with long dress and everything, it's almost impossible for a girl to run around away from boys or anybody else for that matter. I think we'd better be going. Oh, but I only just met Mr. O'Brien. That's all I promised. And I may only be a substitute, but I've been around, so come on. Well, goodbye for now. Is that on the level? Well, if it isn't, he ought to be ashamed of himself. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. This is my dance with Peggy. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is my dance. Oh, no, not at all. It's oh, mine. Wrong again. I bet you two bits it's mine. That's a bet. Come on, we'll find out. Peggy, dear, I may not be a football player, but I'm sincere. Uh, pardon me, Peggy. Where have you boys been? Uh, isn't this my dance? Pardon me, I think it's my dance. It's Mr. O'Brien's dance. You lose, Jim. Pay me the two bits. Uh, well, I owe it to you. Hey, 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 now, now, now listen, fellas. I've known you boys for three years, and we've shared and shared alike. But I brought Peggy to this prom, and I don't want any trouble about it. There'll be no trouble. We'll take her home. What? Hey, now, now listen. Jim, remove the worm. Did he say worm? I don't know. It sounded to me like he said worm. Oh, that's all right then. I thought he said jerk. <laughs> Mr. O'Brien, I was so happy to meet you tonight. I think you're the most wonderful halfback in the world. I saw that uh, Purdue game you were in last fall, and I had the thrill of my life. Now, you don't happen to know a girl called Trixie Hayes, do you? Oh, yes. Yeah, she went with me to the Purdue game. Oh, <laughs> that's what I thought. I'm cutting in. Does anybody mind? No, no, I don't. No. Isn't Mr. O'Brien wonderful? He sure is. Have you known him long? We've been roommates for three years. How grand. You play in the team too, Mr. Stewart? Well, no, not regularly, but I have been lucky enough to play a couple of times this year. Don't you just love it? What? Everything! Hi, boy. Uh, Mr. Murdoch, I'd like to have you meet Bucky O'Brien. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Together, together, marvelous. Put it down. Uh, this young lady is one of the world's most wonderful dancers, Bucky. Oh, is that so? Yes, and it's only because of our lifelong friendship that I'm letting you cut in. <laughs> <laughs> well, may I? You not only may, you can. My, isn't it warm in here? It certainly is. Let's go into the palm room. You sure I won't miss anything? <laughs> Positive. <laughs> All right. It is warm in here. Yeah. What's that? What is that? A oh, let's go. A what? A referee's fiscal. My father told me always to carry it with me when I go out with football players. It's cooler in here now. You can hold it for me. Isn't it warm in here? <laughs> Murdoch, allow me to present Mr. Caradale. How, How do you do? do? Frank, Miss Murdoch is a marvelous dancer. 
Excuse me. Do you dance, Sister Caridio? Caridio. Excuse me. Well, uh, in a way, I do. Oh. You're doing the dance with the young lady. Stand up. Well, I am standing up. You have to hold. You look like a firefly. I'm waiting. Pardon me. Jim to dinner with me? Do you think you need a chaperone? Well, when I'm with you, I think maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> After that remark, young man, you go that way, and I go this way. Good night. <laughs> Good night. You old baboon, you. Now, Army leading, 13 to 7, late the fourth quarter. Our ball on our own 15 yard line. First down. What did you do, Carillo? I try a long forward pass. Hmm. Might work. Intercept as good as a punt. It did work. Now we've got the ball in midfield. Now we give them everything we got. Short passes, running plays. We've got the ball inside the 10 yard line. Second down, third down, fourth down, and four yards to go. What did you do, McCall? Who, who, me? Yes, you. Oh. Well, uh, I'd slide down the bench a little closer to the goal so I could see the play better, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough for tonight. The only letter McCall will get will be from his girl. O'Brien, Stewart, come here, I want to talk to you. In your mind, Coach? Plenty. There's a bad hole in the team this year. Right halfback. 
If we want a successful season, that hole must be filled. You're not going to like this, O'Brien, but it can't be helped. Stewart here is good enough ball carrier for anybody's team, but he can't block for sour apples. I'm going to move you, O'Brien, over to the right half where you can do the blocking. And Stewart to the left half where we can let him run. It's going to be a sacrifice for you, Bucky, because you won't get any of the glory you got last year. But the switch has to be made. It's all Jake of me, Coach. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, that isn't fair. Oh, shut up. No, Bucky's earned the right to play running half. Why, he's in line for the All-American this year, and this would ruin all his chances. We're not playing football here to satisfy the personal desires of anyone, including me. We play for the team. The team plays for Notre Dame. Well, I understand all that, Coach, but this switch just doesn't go with me. Well, can you imagine a guy like that? Don't you worry, Coach. He'll play. I'll knock his knock off. But it isn't fair to O'Brien. But I figured this all out, and the old man must know what he's doing. Now, listen, Jim. You're not going to do it. Oh, you're going to act like a kid, huh? I won't do it, I tell you. What's the matter? Throwing down the team? What's in you anyway, Stuart? You're not going to do it, huh? No. All right, in the lake. In the lake. Hello. That's a nice squatting up here on a day like this, huh? No, I had a lot of work to do. Have you seen my math anyplace? Mm, here it is. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, saving these for your grandchildren? Uh, a lot of baloney, that press stuff. Yeah. You seem to be eating it up all right, though. <laughs> I suppose you never saved your notices. Yeah, I did. But you know, a funny thing, I tried to pay a bill with them one time, and what do you think? The guy wouldn't take them. Now, never mind the kidding. Stuart runs 90 yards. <laughs> Stuart is sensational. Say, you know, you'll have to be that good against Georgia Tech next week. They tell me they got a pretty swell team down there this year. I'll be all right if I'm backed up properly. Oh, yeah?
Thank you. I wonder what old Chuck's looking for. It. I don't know, but I hope he finds it. You all right now, Mac? Yeah, just playing. All right, Jake, come on, let's get going. Come on. Come on. Hey, that Georgia Tech fullback today had the hardest truck. Hi, truck, you finally got in the game, huh? No, I didn't, but my pants did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> deserve all this, but I guess it was just my lucky day. <laughs> yeah. Nice blocking, too, Bucky. Yeah, you didn't do so bad yourself. You know that, Frank. What a game. What a game. Frank, you were marvelous. You were great. I'm telling you, I never saw such a football game. Frank, I always said you were a natural player, didn't I? You know, you've got that right build, and you had that spirit. Perfect timing. Didn't I always say it was good, Bucky, huh? Oh, yes, it was. I think you did say something like that. <laughs> you know, you played a good game, too, you know. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I better be going before they start throwing buckets at me around here. I may have a surprise for you later. I just got mine. Woo! <laughs> you know, I'd have made three touchdowns instead of two if you had taken out the end on that last 84 play. Well, I took out the end, but you cut in too soon. The left half got you. Boy, you were marvelous today. <laughs> Great work, boy. Great work. I had the best open field running I ever saw in my life. Well, thank you. I, I was lucky to break away. You certainly looked as though you had the whole field to yourself. Well, don't forget, I had a good line playing in front of me. You were wonderful. We're all proud of you. Oh, you're stated for the All-American right now. You're, you're frankly there. Pardon? Listen here, son. We're off in Cleveland. If you ever get out that way, drop in, and we'll try and show you a good time. Thank you, sir. Uh, don't no, forget to call us up. No, thank you. Uh, goodbye. Don't mind them. They don't know what it's all about. Don't worry. I don't mind them. You just do as we say next game. Give that ball to Stuart every play. Now, don't forget, when you're in Cleveland, look us up. Thank you. I certainly will. Charlie, take the advice of an old man. If ever you go out for a job coaching, try and get it at Sing Sing. You'll never be bothered with the alumni. <laughs> yeah. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, Bucky, Jim, there's a car waiting outside, and I want you to go to a little party out at a girl's house. Got a girl for yourself? Have I? Say, boy, I'm fully protected. I've got six toys of peaches, and they're all honey. Where's that sponge? Oh, here they are now. Are you sure? Yes, that's the little one. Then it must be them. Hello. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, that's all right. You get in here with us, Mr. Stewart. All right. And you boys can follow in a taxi. So long, Bucky. Am I a sap or am I a sap? Say, Jim didn't need you to run interference for him that time. He's turning out to be an awful O'Sullivan. You think nobody ever could carry a ball before? Hey, now, wait a minute. He really is a great running halfback. I suppose you're not. Me? Yeah. Well, I'm just a, just a football player, that's all. Uh, uh ruffle your hair up. Ah, that's it. Uh, now raise your chin. Up. I want you to look perfectly natural. That's it. Uh, hold it now, hold it. That's fine. 
That's good. That'll be fine. What do you see? Woo! You frighten me. <clears throat> Would you mind closing the door? You're interfering with my light. Come on, get in the picture with me. Uh, this is Bucky O'Brien. Well, I don't know if I can hold my chicken higher enough. <laughs> no, no. I don't want anybody but you, Mr. Stewart. This is part of the series, you know. Uh, would you mind letting up the shade? I have no light. Oh, you mean that? Uh, yes, thank you. All right, Mr. Stewart. Now hold it just like that. That's fine, Mr. Stewart. Now when these are developed, I'll send you a few copies. Why don't you take one of Bucky here? Oh, are you a football player? No, just a right halfback. Well, I'd like to take your picture. But you see, we're limiting this issue to probable All-Americans. Uh, good day, Mr. Stewart. Goodbye. Uh, good day, Mr. Uh, I, I didn't get the name. Smith. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Smith. Uh, good day, Mr. Smith. John Nuisance, all these reporters and photographers. Yeah. You seem to be standing it pretty well, though. What's eating you, anyway? You saw on account of my success? No, but you used to be such a great guy. You're gonna have the whole gang down on you if your head swells any bigger. Say, you're getting kind of tough to get along with lately with your jealousy What and... have I got to be jealous about? Doesn't everybody know that the reason you look so good is because the rest of us are in there pulling our hearts out trying to make holes for you? So you're beginning to believe what the papers say about you, huh? Maybe to relieve your feelings a little if you didn't have to room with me. All right, I'll move. No, I'll move. Call it. Heads. Tails. All right, I move. Wait a minute. Two of those ties are mine. If you want to start talking about what belongs to who, take off those socks. What socks? The socks you're wearing on your big flat feet, that's what socks. Oh, yeah? Anything that's yours, you get, and I want what belongs to me. I don't want anything belonging to you. Here, take your socks. Now, don't start yanking me around. I thought that was my shirt. You don't walk out of here with that. There's your shirt. Somebody must be sending out the laundry. All right, while you're at it, take off my striped silk undershirt. Is that yours? Just because you've been wearing it for the last six months doesn't make it yours. All right, you can have it. You can have it. Even if it weren't yours, you can have it. Well, hurry up, hurry up. Don't stand there and argue. I want to get out of here. Now. Give me my running pants. Yo, what? You heard me. Give me my running pants. Just try and get them. What are you doing, holding a rummage sale? No. Well, don't stand there like a half-baked statue. Explain yourself. How come you wander around the campus with a shirt in one hand and a pair of socks in the other? I'm not. Hey, did they ever trace any feeble-mindedness in your family? Why, I... I think somebody's having a fight. You think?
You know that's my seat? Look how smooth it's worn. Hello, Mac, old boy. How's the meeting? Well. Swollen? No, it's okay. Oh. Got another x-ray of Sullivan's shoulder this morning. That chip bone doesn't seem to be healing right. No, we can't play him. That leaves only McMahon with a tackle. He's all right, isn't he? Except for his strict knee. Maybe I better start truck with call. Call. Me? Hey, get going. The coach is calling you. <laughs> Can't want me. The game hasn't started. Nobody's had a chance to tear their pants yet. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to start the game at right tackle. Huh? Right tackle, I said. Now go on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold it. Hold it. Great kid. You're going to start your regular backfield. I suppose so. I don't like the split between O'Brien and Stewart. I don't think it'll affect their work on the field. Can't tell. Tough test of character I gave O'Brien. And I'm afraid Stewart's rubbing it in. Ready, Northwestern? Ready, Notre Dame? Ready! Take care of O'Brien. Don't you worry about Mrs. O'Brien's little boy. Uh, we know. 24, 75, 82. It's one, two, three. It's one, two, three. <laughs> He's been working. McMahon. Yes, sir. Get in there and tackle. Protect your knee all you can. One, two, three. Lay down, okay. McMahon is reporting right back to McCall. McMahon in for McCall. McMahon replaces McCall. Kid, you win that old game every minute. What's the matter? You hurt? You are too. Hey, Doc, shut up. But you gotta be fixed up. Five down. If the old man thinks I'm hurt, he won't put me back in the game again. No, you can't. Slide down. Call is going in. Call for McManaman. McManaman out. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Scott, old boy, let's get going. Now. Well, now, there's only three minutes to go, and that's holding. Well, I got you a two-touchdown lead, and it seems you can't help hold it. You got Yeah, Time's up, boys. All right, let's go. All right, let's get in. Come on, Don't let him get your ghost, Bucky. I'll fix him. All right, 
What's the matter with him, Second down. He took out the wrong man. What's the matter? Why didn't you take out that end? Oh, I didn't think he could run fast enough to catch a guy like you. That man again. Charlie, get in there right half for O'Brien. Signal 25, 74. Something the matter. All is injured. Hey, doctor. <gasps> what is it? It feels like a broken rib to me. I wonder what else can happen. Looks like we're called through. You, Stanley, get in there right tackle. Let that end through twice. What's the idea? Well, I've been holding up Stewart long enough. I decided to let him take a rack himself for a play or two. So you let the team down just take a crack at Stewart, would you? Turn in your suit. But, Coach, we had a safe lead. You played your last game for Notre Dame. Getting late. Must be about time for the team to catch the train to the Army game. Oh, Chuck, you old faker. How are you? Chuck? Hello, oh, fellas. Oh, yeah. All right. Great of you to come down here and see me. What do you got? Flowers. For what? For you. Yeah, well, where'd you get them? Well, we picked them off the back end of a black wagon on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> How's the bed? Comfortable? Yeah. Just too bad. You'll never get up now, Coach. <laughs> Why should I? It's a lot softer here than it is on that bench. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, son? Great. But I don't see why I can't go with you instead of staying here in bed. We'll miss you, boy. Look, he's got a nightshirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get it? Well, they gave it to me here. Isn't it kind of uncomfortable? Well, it fools you. It's like a big bib. There's no <laughs> back in it. <laughs> <laughs> I could can walk that far. <laughs> well, it's tough you can't go with us, Chuck. But we brought you a small radio, so you can listen to the game Saturday. Oh, gee, that's well. Thanks. Getting to a train time, gang. Better get rolling. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, well, so long. Take care. So long, Goodbye, son. kid. Knock your ears right. down for me. We'll bring you back an army mule. That a boy. Take care of that knee, Max. Goodbye, kid. I just want to say to you, Truck, I'm as proud of you as I am of any man I've got in the squad. Thanks, Coach. How is he? A certain amount of infection has set in where the broken rib punctured his lung. You're afraid of pneumonia? We'll know by Saturday. Gee, this time next Saturday, the game will just be starting. I hope the fellow that announces speaks so we can understand him. <laughs> Fourteen years in a row. It's an honor to play them. They're a good gang. Win or lose, they fight to the last gun. Some of you fellas, according to the press, know that we're in bad shape. What with our cripples and other losses? We've been reading the papers. Ha! 
I want you to get out there and show them that the Notre Dame team is not a one-man team and never was. Watch every move. Especially keep your eye on Cagle. Keep him from scoring in the first half. We got him late. They may outguess you. They may outplay you. But I know they can't outgame you or outfight you. Come on now, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, In there. Let's get going. Let's get going. <laughs> we held him. It's our ball. It's our ball. Turn it on. It might quite him. It's our ball. Mm. We held him. We held him. Thorne has the ball. Stewart has it again. Wait a minute, folks. He's off. He's off. He's off. Look at that boy run. He's away. Ah, uh -huh. wait, 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 wait. He's tackled. Stewart made three yards. That old army line is sure holding today. They're lining up. One. Wait a minute. One, two. There they go. They shift. Yeah, it's Stewart's ball again. Ah, uh ah, -huh. fumble, fumble. Was well, that boy hit hard? Now the referee's right in among them. Wait a minute. I'll give you the news. Just a minute, folks. Tommy's ball. Again. Lanigan. Watch it, Lanigan. Boy, if Notre Dame ever needed an O'Brien, they need it today. Oh, why can't we hold him? A telegram. Read it. <laughs> Pneumonia has developed. Temperature 104, pulse 120. Expect crisis later today. Doc Enright. Never mind, don't wait for me. Huh? Hey, Cook, South Bend Hospital on the telephone. Speak with him? You bet I would. Put him on. Hello? Hello, truck. <laughs> oh, boy. That's the stuff, truck. We're all thinking about you. Yes? <laughs> you bet we will. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Uh oh. Oh, yes, doctor? He what? Yes, 
Thanks, Doctor. Goodbye. On your feet. It looks like a losing fight for Truck McCall. But he's fighting every inch of the way. He gave me a message for you, fellas. He said, when the team's in a tough spot today, pull one out of the bag for old Truck. Now get out there and fight. Only 10 minutes to play. Looks like a great day for the Army. Oh, why doesn't Bucky go in? Ryan is replaced Flanagan. 
like a tough day for the Irish. Too bad, soldier. You nearly won the game. After this, you can go west, young man. Oh, yeah? What do you got to tell him when he gets back to Scott Band? You tell him nothing. They'll read it in the newspaper. I meet you plenty of holes today, and boy, you better find them. Bingo! 25, 37, 72, 86, hip, 100, 2, 3, hip. Oh, my God. Better hurry. I can gym the ball. Let me do the block. Okay, hang on. 25, 72, 83, hip, 1, 2, 2, hip. Set of false teeth. What a game. Taking the ball on their own five-yard line. Notre Dame in one magnificent march has carried it clear to the Army 45-yard line. This is still anybody's game. Whoa, listen to that crowd. Didn't I say we'd get him when Bucky went in? The fever's broken. Oh, you're down now. Oh, not on your life. And you should see Jim Stewart run. Yes. But Jim Stewart, that's my man. All American I know is my guess. I know them all. There's the whistle. But I... Huh? All right, Dan, come on, let's go. All right, There's nothing else to do but pass again. Watch. Yours. Oh, you don't mean it. Yes, I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> 